Today we're going to run through a demonstration of JumpLead marketing software. JumpLead is designed to help you generate leads for your business and nurture them into customers. When you realize that 98% of the visitors to your website just aren't ready to buy, it's easy to understand the importance of creating a process that converts visitors into leads and then nurtures them into customers over time. Because without this process in place, you never get the opportunity to communicate with, educate and build preference amongst your potential customers. So, how does JumpLead work? Well, we break the process down like this. First, we generate leads. By creating landing pages for your marketing offers and adding embedded forms and pop-up overlays to your website, you can generate new leads for your business. And these are automatically saved into the JumpLead CRM database where you can manage them. Then we nurture our leads. JumpLead includes email marketing and drip campaign nurture sequences to allow you to create and send campaigns designed to keep your leads warm and educate them over time, building familiarity and brand preference. Marketing automations can also be triggered by your leads as they return and interact with your marketing and website. These are used to trigger autoresponder sequences, score contacts to highlight sales ready behavior, as well as send sales team notifications and moving them through sales funnel stages. We can also manage our leads with an onboard CRM system, which automatically captures the information supplied by your contacts through the jump lead forms you use, thus qualifying your leads for sales over time. And finally, with JumpLead, we can connect with leads. Live chat and messaging completes the picture, allowing you to answer your leads' questions directly, helping them to become customers. So it helps to think of JumpLead as an all-in-one marketing system, with the benefit that each of these important marketing tools, from email marketing to landing pages, overlays, and even a CRM, are all designed to work together seamlessly helping you to nurture your leads into customers without the complexity and bother of trying to integrate a, a range of tools to work together. So let's take a look around JumpLead and see how it fits together. Here on the dashboard with live chat enabled, we can see active visitors on our website. If we were to click onto one of these dots, we'd be able to proactively open a conversation with that visitor, messaging them directly within their web session. That would also take us into the messaging inbox available at the top of the navigation. The dashboard also gives us an overview of activity, highlighting how many visitors we've had over the past 30 days, as well as an overall conversion rate across the conversion flows and landing pages. On the right, we can see our overall open rate across autoresponder drip campaigns and email broadcasts. This shows us at a high level how successful we are at generating visitors converting them into leads for our business, and then engaging with them through the campaigns that we send. JumpLead also includes a task management system as part of the CRM to allow you to create tasks to follow up and manage your leads. When tasks become overdue, they appear on your dashboard as a reminder. And here at the bottom of the page, we can see a quick overview of where our leads are inside our stages sales funnel. If we jump into the activity section, we can see visits of both returning leads that have completed forms, landing pages, or click through from our emails, as well as visiting organizations that have been identified by their IP address. You can click through to the profile page of visiting leads to manage their contact records, as well as see how they arrived and the pages that they visited. You can also create activity streams to see filtered views of your activity as it happens. These can also have automations attached to them to send you alerts when a lead returns, adjusting lead scores and allowing you to segment based upon activity. Contacts that are imported, generated through embedded lead flows, landing pages and overlays are all available in the contact section. From here you can create segments by filtering contacts down using the criteria on the right hand side of the page. 
These segments can then be saved and are automatically available to send email broadcasts to in the campaign section. Clicking into a particular contact profile page gives you access to the information available, which includes some top line information such as their name, contact details, referral source and referring campaigns where available. On the left, you'll see their activity and email interactions, any notes you've added, tasks that are associated with this contact, chat conversations, email nurture campaigns they're subscribed to, and privacy consents that have been captured. On the right are the contact details, along with any custom contact information that you've added and has been captured to help qualify your lead. The contact section is also where you add the custom contact fields you'd like to make available to your forms and landing pages. The information your contact enters in your forms is automatically added to the contact records and can be used to create segments for your marketing needs. Custom contact fields can also be used in forms, landing pages and overlays as progressive profiling fields automatically skipping over known information to ask the first unknown items. This avoids duplicating questions across different forms, which is particularly useful when nurturing leads over a long period of time and across multiple conversion forms. You can also adjust your lead scoring preferences here to weight scores to meet your needs, as well as set up any privacy consent categories to capture and manage communications permissions. Lifecycle stages are often used as a way to manage the long-term nurturing of your leads, allowing you to set up and manage sales funnel steps that are used to move leads to deepening levels of qualification. So as a contact interacts with your marketing, you move them from one stage to another with either automations triggered by their activity or manually. These changes often occur when your contact downloads a particular piece of content on a landing page, but could be triggered by any other marketing automation you choose. If we jump over into the conversion section, we can see where conversion flows and landing pages are created. And here we can see recent activity across both conversion flows and landing pages. Conversion flows are multi-step form sequences that can either be embedded in your website or displayed as a pop-up overlay, triggered by exit intent or page scroll, etc. Aside from capturing information and creating leads, conversion flows are often used to trigger email drip campaigns, add tags and change stages. This is done by adding an automation. Landing pages are published to a URL and you can set up as many custom URLs and have as many landing pages as you like. Landing pages are also capable of being multi-step, incorporating overlays and triggering marketing automations to follow up with email campaigns, etc. As well as starting follow-up campaigns, marketing automations are commonly used to adjust lead scores, send sales teams notifications, and to add tags for segmentation, etc. Now if we jump into the campaign section, this is where we create our autoresponder drip campaigns to nurture our leads. We can also send campaigns to the segments we've created in our contact section. When we create an email nurture campaign, we first create the emails we wish to send and then add them to a schedule that can then be triggered by an automation, usually when a form or landing page is completed. Emails are built with our visual editor or if you prefer, you can code your own. Automations can be created anywhere in JumpLead and they are automatically added to your library of available automations. You can also create an automation that's available to be triggered by an external application via the API. The analytics section gives you an overview of the performance of campaigns and how leads are moving between the stages you're using.
web traffic and sources can be seen. And we also pass any UTM tags that are being used by traffic that comes to your website, allowing you to see which leads are coming in on which campaigns on a month by month basis. If we take a look in the messages section, you can see that there's a shared inbox that allows any jump lead users that have been added to the conversations team to be able to manage live chat and lead messaging conversations. There we have it, a quick tour of JumpLead, all of the most powerful tools to generate, nurture, manage and connect with your leads, all in one place. If you have any questions for us, please get in touch. Until then, please don't forget to subscribe for channel updates.